guys, Christina with Forever Board Soapery here. Today I am just wrapping my shampoo and conditioner bars. I had to make up a whole bunch. I have sold out again, which is a fantastic problem to keep having. Uh, these are the blackberry and sugared violets. I can't remember if I did a video on this, but I uh, whoops, this is not the fragrance or a fragrance that I usually do um, in the shampoo bar. But somewhere along the way, I whoops and added the wrong fragrance oil. So we currently are carrying blackberry and sugared violets because why not? Basically. This little guy, I don't know what I want to do with that yet. <laughs> Guess he'll go in there. So I'm just loading up my tray or my thingy here with all of my shampoo bars. A little bit crooked in there. And we'll see how this goes. I can't remember. I don't think I've done the shampoo bars in here yet. We'll only do that many for now. So it'll be my first time doing something this little. So we'll see how she goes. But for now, oops, I just need to press. Pull. Same thing, slide her over, press and pull. so good hard to talk and do this guys i don't know how great this video is going to be you're going to just be watching me press a blue okay and then we're going to squish them up to the top same deal Pressing and pulling all the way. That one didn't go very well. I'm falling off the mat here. That's probably why. Okay, and then that's a redo. So I've let myself get too far towards the end of the mat. And it's causing me grief. To move these guys. I'm just gonna move this up over here. It was hanging off the edge there and it wasn't getting the little corner bit. just see if I can get lucky and get this edge to catch. I think I'll just redo. Let it go and redo. Come on out. And I think for now we're just going to pile these guys to the side. And I'll just go shrink wrapping crazy here. And then I'll get the heat gun out later. Oops. Just so they 
wasn't going to go that far. very focused on this. I'm not doing any talking. Uh, <laughs> just paying attention to what I'm doing here. Not much to do, say and do. I, uh, when I made this batch, I did a, a big batch, um, like a four times my base recipe to stock up on what was supposed to be the pomegranate marshmallow, but that didn't happen. It ended up being the uh, blackberry. So now I have a whole bunch of blackberry. So yesterday I went ahead and made, went ahead and made a small batch of the pomegranate marshmallow just so I would have some and i ended up getting of course an etsy order for two of them and i didn't have any made so i had to get that done and so they're they're now ready to go um it's a small batch because i'm running out of slsa which is one of my ingredients in my shampoo bars which is frustrating so now i have to order some more of that I have enough SLSA left to make three individual bars, which I have to do of rosemary mint because the rosemary mint, I have an order for a bar of that and a conditioner bar for Friday. So I'm going to have to do up a batch of those no matter what. This is being all weird. Which is too bad. And then I'm, I think I only have like four of the Satsuma orange. Like I, I feel like I'll probably be sold out of the pomegranate and the Satsuma orange by the end of this weekend again. So I need to get on getting some more uh, SLSA right away. And I was on Windy Point's website and they're having their July summer sale or Christmas in July sale. And uh, they didn't have much left for SLSA, just small packages. I think I'm going to check on Creation Essentials and see if they're offering in or porch pickups still and see how much they have. Um, might be more cost effective not to have to pay for the shipping to go that route. I'll have to run the numbers and see, but I might give them a try and see how they do. I'm just going to turn that off for now. I still have to do the conditioner bars, but I think I'll get all these guys wrapped up first. So hot. These little things I find are really tricky with the heat gun because they're so warm. And your fingers get so warm. Sample dude. I'm just trying to get them shrunk down without bursting holes. I'm doing okay. Don't want to jinx myself here. But I have been doing okay with it to date. Pretty sure my pig is in labor at home right now, all by herself. 
kind of frustrating. And yet this particular sow really doesn't like us to be around when she's having babies. So it might actually be for the best because she's doing it on her own. She has actively chased me out of the pen <laughs> the last time she had babies because I was too much in her space and she didn't like it when she was having them. Um, so she's also a very protective mama. If you make her babies cry, she's coming at you. Otherwise she's a sweetheart. <laughs> Don't mess with her babies. She's a very protective mama. This is my biodegradable film, which is awesome. Um, still, unfortunately, using some plastic on the shampoo and conditioner bars solely due to labeling. I can't get enough information on the small label that would go on here to meet my Canada regulations. So I had to go with a box. Currently I'm using a plastic box because of the cost, but as soon as I can order a bulk box, so um, like I can afford to order the cardboard boxes in bulk, I will do that just so that uh, it is more of a sustainable packaging. But that unfortunate million might be a next year problem. Just, I'm really having troubles getting some things in bulk and being able to afford it as a small business. Um, I've started being able to order larger and larger quantities of ingredients, which has been great. Um, and I'm slowly getting there to kind of buy in those higher amounts to start saving on some costs. So that's been working out well, but oops, I have been having some issues with coming up with the funds for things like packaging still. So just might have to be a next year problem. <laughs> you didn't have to order so much of everything if I could just order say a hundred at a time and it be a good price it would be different but in order to get that good price you have to order a whole bunch which causes the cost to go up and I only have so much income to play with at a time so we'll see and I honestly think the next influx of money here this month is going to go towards shelving for the shop here. I really just want it to look a little nicer and brighter and display my products better. My products just, they could look so much better on some really good white shelving. So I want to do that first. But we'll see, well, as I said, I'm already running out of ingredients again. So I might have to put in another big order right away for more ingredients. My little tiny sample bar. <laughs> teensy, teensy. It still does the trick. Still works as a good sample. Okay. I've got my labels. More labels. Trees need to go to the wash. And here we go. So I don't know if I showed you guys these boxes, but basically they're just, I ordered them on Amazon. They're just little plastic 
boxes. They worked out to be, I think it was like 20 cents a piece Canadian. Um, I'm sure I can do better if I were to dig into it, but I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, these plastic boxes aren't what I want long term. I want wooden box or cardboard boxes. So the big push will be on to, to move to that when the time comes. But it does so much better with the labeling. Ta-da. So I've got my shampoo bar information. I actually was able to add on my QR, QR code as well, which was awesome. Made me very happy to do that. And looks like I'm gonna have to pause you guys. I have a customer coming in. I'm just gonna say goodbye for today and uh, I'll be back again soon.